Hello fellow gamers, today's gameplay is Knights of the Round, which is an arcade game released by Capcom in 1991, also for Super Nintendo in 1994. The game is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game based on the legendary story of King Arthur, first knight of the Britons, and the Knights of the Round Table. The game is a level advanced system where fighters get new armor as they progress further through the gameplay. This is done as static instead of by, done by choice. We all know the story about the man who pulled the sword Excalibur from the stone was destined to be the king. But many didn't agree so. Mer so Marilyn told Arthur of the legendary grail, which holds the power to unite Britain. So with the aid of his trusted friends, Lancelot, Lancelot and Percival, our story begins. The characters are... Arthur, a well-balanced character for intermediate skills. Lancelot, the fastest character but lacks strength, is a very good character for the beginners. And the character which I am using is Percival, a strong warrior but lacks the agility. He's a good character for intermediate players. This is the special. Each character has their own unique. I am playing this on the arcade emulator. The uh, game, the cheat codes which I am using, I will share with you in the uh, game in the video's description. So each time I go further and uh, progress through the level, my armor changes.
really like how they paid attention to the detail. Just look at the mountains, look at the clouds. There's a battle going on there. Really awesome. Level up. my armor already has changed and the weapon looks a bit, a bit different the highest you can go ahead is uh, get level 16 and there's a code for that as well funny he's one of the enemies They say that Arthur's uh, character is the best on course. Details how much they paid attention to when the horse is here, it's amazing as well. Of course, until I get thrown out of it from it. Oh, the first boss. I guess he got demoted.
it's interesting how many different times this legend has been told. King Arthur's story and the Knights of the Round Table. Some games even mention it, like basically just a little bit of a detail. Like for example, Final Fantasy VII, it has one of the summonings, Knights of the Round Table, which is really awesome. Disney, of course, they made movies about Knights of the Round Table, about Marilyn and uh, Arthur when he was a child. It's just uh, really amazing. Also, of course, Transformers, kind of similar. Knights of the Round Table has the swords and everything. So it's just an amazing because legend, legends should never be forgotten. They all, all the time should be remembered. And yeah. Level 7 
course you can go ahead and compare this game to many awesome titles which Capcom and others release for the Super Nintendo and for the arcade. But I will go ahead and compare this game to the Golden Axe uh, Saga. Both of those games are awesome and unique. The difference of course is Golden Axe has the magic. This game brings something different which is the leveling up of the characters and the story which was talked about in many different and ways and in different movies, different stories. So even though the game even though the uh, games were released on different systems, one for Sega, one for Super Nintendo and the arcade, both games are awesome. But in the comments, if you want to go ahead and let me know which game do you prefer, Knights of the Round or the Golden Axe? So, I input a cheat code right now, which is to change the character, and I jumped many levels. So this is the final version of Percival, and um, this is how it looks like. He shaved his head, his axe looks, it is golden, and his armor is heavier.
funny that the tigers are burning up, but I understand basically why they did it for the age difference and stuff, right? Gameplay, yeah. It's a short game, but very, very entertaining. If you play this in the arcade, which I have, um, you can go ahead and basically get uh, a lot of the quarters eaten up. Because it is a hard game. And for the Super Nintendo, it's also very well interesting. You have to master how to block. So, it is definitely a challenging game. But all the time a classic and worth playing again and again.
and there it is, the legendary grail. Obtained to keep peace and quiet and unite Britain. If you play as Arthur, you get the Grail, like, you can touch it, but the different other players you can, which will, in my other videos, I will go ahead to like to say thank you for watching the video, thank you for liking the uh, channel, please subscribe, and thank you. Great idea. Have the uh, credits and then the characters that all were in the game. Very nice.